All right, 1510 Sycamore Street. It's not the best area around here, but uh, this street itself is actually not too bad. So on street parking only. Looks like you could add a parking pad in the backyard though, probably. Got a little bit older vinyl windows in here. They seem all right, they look like they work all right. Um, drywall in here, it's kind of hit and miss throughout the whole house here. Some of it looks all right, and some of it looks like it's kind of rotting a bit. And lots of uh, ceiling spots where it's coming apart. Um, there's no kitchen on this floor. It's just the living room, dining room, and uh, this other room that should be the kitchen. They got the kitchen in the basement. Old uh, Craftsman trim. Looks like most of the trim's in place in here. Same vinyl windows on the back. Well, let's take a look at the backyard real quick. Neighbor's got a bit of junk out back there. Vacant or not, looks like they're doing work on that house over there. And there's like uh, barbed wire, some commercial stuff in the backyard. Back of the house looks okay. Um, no HVAC thing out here, it's got the old furnace, old furnace unit in the basement that goes down to the basement there. Oh, and uh, as far as adding a parking pad. Uh, there's no there's no lip, no cement, anything. You just take out this fence and pour some gravel or cement and you got a parking pad. Basement, and this is the kitchen for the house. Not many cabinets, old, old sink stuff there. Uh, let's see here, ceiling height is six foot seven. This is wood, like wood slats, right up against the um, the floor joists. So six foot seven is pretty much the highest you're gonna get down here. Um, Gas meter looks okay. Here's the old furnace. Water heater. Water heater looks fine. Water heater looks fairly new. Definitely good. And the electric stuff here looks pretty old. We got the uh, the knobby stuff, those knob knob fuses. And there's no other um, uh, newer electric box anywhere. Just this old stuff here. Yeah, you can see this drywall is not in real good shape. It's kind of, kind of like uh, rotting away a bit. And then upstairs we have three bedrooms, one bath. This bedroom's on the front of the house. Looks like probably the biggest. Bedroom. I always wonder about these, how all these closets have like what looks like stairs in them. And lots of these older houses. Okay, vinyl windows on the front. Fitting 
same older ones. They look like they work all right. Wood on the floor. Uh, this might be able to be cleaned up. It doesn't look like it's stained. It's just kind of dirty. And drywall in here. Drywall in here doesn't look too bad in this room. It's a small little spot up there, but that's it. Trim looks good. Hallway bathroom. Ugly pink and green tiles and toilet and sink, so that probably would have to be all replaced. Cracking tiles on the floor. Um, skylight here, looking a little bit old, and it may have some moisture coming in through there, through the skylight also. The drywall up above doesn't look like it's in real good shape either. And two bedrooms on the back of the house. All the drywall on the ceiling in here is no good. The wall's got this uh, kind of like, like it's kind of uh, like rotting, I guess, really. All the bubbly stuff underneath the paint. I think that's the drywall going bad. Final window, old wooden floors in here. Real old, nasty looking in there, on the floors. And then uh, this other back bedroom, same thing. We'll find the windows, trim looks all right, old wood floors, and the uh, drywall looks like it's not in good, not in real good shape. And that's it.